paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve. You should take the approach that you're wrong. Your goal is to be less wrong. My proceeds from the PayPal acquisition were $180 million. I put $100 million in SpaceX, $70 million in Tesla, and $10 million in SolarCity. I had to borrow money for rent. It is important to view knowledge as sort of a semantic tree, make sure you understand the fundamental principles, e the trunk and big branches, before you get into the leaf slash details or there is nothing for them to hang on to. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. Constantly seek criticism. A well thought out critique of whatever you're doing is as valuable as gold. I think it would be great to be born on Earth and die on Mars. Just hopefully not at the point of impact. It is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop, where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. The idea of lying on a beach as my main thing just sounds like the worst. It sounds horrible to me. I would go bonkers. I would have to be on serious drugs. I'd be super duper bored. I like high intensity. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. I'm not trying to be anyone's savior. I'm just trying to think about the future and not be sad. If you need inspiration, don't do it. No, I don't ever give up. I have to be dead or completely incapacitated. One of the really tough things is figuring out what questions to ask. Once you figure out the question, then the answer is relatively easy. Any product that needs a manual to work is broken. The first step is to establish that something is possible then probability will occur. I came to the conclusion that we should aspire to increase the scope and scale of human consciousness in order to better understand what questions to ask. Really, the only thing THT makes sense is to strive for greater collective enlightenment. I could go and buy one of the islands in the Bahamas and turn it into my personal fiefdom, but I am much more interested in trying to build and create a new company. Every person in your company is a vector. Your progress is determined by the sum of all vectors.